This is one of Hollywood's legendary sound stages. Over the years, many of your favorite shows have originated from this very studio. In fact, I just found out today that one of my all-time favorite shows has been taping here for over 30 years. It's a daytime soap opera called Guiding Light. Even the title's intriguing, isn't it? A light that guides. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, there was a character on the Guiding Light called Papa Bauer. And all the other characters used to come to Papa Bauer with their problems. Whether it was infidelity, pills, drugs, infidelity. Papa Bauer would always advise them, because he was so very wise. And I guess I sort of looked up to Papa Bauer. I guess he was my TV Papa. <laughs> and then uh, <clears throat> one day, Papa Bauer got sick. And we all assumed, you know, that it was just a cold or a little flu bug, but uh, it wasn't. And then eventually, Papa Bauer died. <laughs> Oh, stupid emotions. <laughs> oh. I haven't thought about Papa Bauer for years. And then after that, I swore that I would never, ever get sucked into another soap opera as long as I lived. And up until this year, I kept that promise. But then, damn them, a new primetime soap opera premiered called Models Amalgamated. As much as I hate to admit it, I think I'm hooked. Pretty, pretty, pretty peacock. Don't you know how to strut your wares? Just don't strut them too far from Mother Hen. I think your modeling channel has a winner with this one, Magenta. What's his name? Zach Duham. Oh, and Margo. Hands off. He's mine. Those happen to be some very nice buns. Yeah, those buns happen to be mine. I was talking about the buns on the tray. So was I. Bitch. So that's the new beefcake, huh? He looks more like a fruitcake to me. <laughs> How can I expect to be elected to the United States Senate when my only daughter poses nude for Blowhole Magazine? I'm rebelling, okay? I happen to hate what you stand for. Which is? Hypocrisy, money, corporate greed, and all stuff like that. Well, at least I didn't flunk my driver's test three times in a row. I hate you, Papa. Kitten, Daddy didn't mean it. Don't go away mad. It serves you right, you pompous old fool. Why my daughter would marry you is beyond me. I don't appreciate her decision at all. Now, where's my put? Yeah. What? I'm trailing 18 points in the polls. Then, then buy more spot ads. Well, how can we be out of money? Me, I'm broke. I've spent every cent I have. All right. I'll get the money somewhere. Well, Mother Pearl, did you enjoy your dinner? I still haven't had my pudding. 
Mother Pearl, just out of curiosity, why do you refer to all desserts as puddin'? Cake, flan, jello, pie, it's all puddin' to me. Well, I'm sure Beryl is fixing something for you right now. But I haven't had my puddin'. It's coming! Pearl, I'm going to be straight with you. I need another two million dollars for my campaign. Not another penny will you get, Bob. Not a penny, I say. Now where's my puddin'? Pearl, please, I'm begging you. Your share of my fortune will come to you when I die. When I die, I say. Now get, boy, get. I want chocolate puddin'. When you die? So many island people prefer mocha, but not me. I like butterscotch. God, I love it when you sweat. Hey, I am not your boy toy. Besides, Tisa's only been dead two months. I need my space. I didn't hire you to be with your space. Hey, you broke the skin, lady. Besides, I'm tired of hearing about your precious Tisa. I am just going to say this one more time. Yes! Tisa was a bad woman. And yes! Tisa tried to kill me on that jet ski. <laughs> but she is the mother of my child, and I don't even know where she is buried. Now, you listen to me. When I first met you, you were nothing but a, a two-bit lifeguard in a sleazy public pool. I was saving lives! And I saved yours! Now, if you're going to venture in, to the deep end of my pool, you better be a damn good swimmer. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, and, um, I don't like to be kept waiting. Bitch. Models Amalgamated will return. We now return to Models Amalgamated. When you die? I want my foot. I won't get your money till you die, huh? Why is it so dark? Bill! You'll give me a heart attack! What are you doing to my mother? What does it look like? I'm trying to save her from suffocating in the Barker lounger. With a pillow? It's not pronounced pillow, Beryl. It's pillow. Why must you always mispronounce words? Oh, don't you turn the tables on me, Bill Pierce. All I know is I, I, I was putting some clothes into the wash when all of a sudden you, I heard this... You did it again! It's not wash! It's wash! Why must I say Mother! That mother, I... darling! Oh, mother, Catherine. mother, mother, please! Uh, oh, look what I found! <laughs> that hat pin you were looking for. Mother, I tell you what. Let's go to the kitchen. I'll fix you a nice cheese sandwich. Sandwich? Sandwich? I'm sure the Earl of Sandwich will be pleased to know you'll be eating one of his namesakes. I'm so depressed. Mother, I think Bill and I need some privacy, okay? That's quite all right. I'll leave. I know when I'm not wanted. Thanks, Mother. I appreciate it. Better idea, Mother. You stay put and we'll leave. Bill! Don't bill me! We could have left the room and had nine conversations by now. What is bothering you? Who can remember? It's been so long! Well, now you're being cruel. She's being cruel! Look at her, eating up the entire evening with that promenade of hers. I want my puddin'. Bill, may I say something to you? Choose your words carefully, Beryl. One more mispronunciation could send me over the edge. Bill, yesterday when you gave that, that wonderful speech at the library, all of the people were moved, so... Library? Your brain is like a computer of complete wrongness. Darling, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry. It's just that I've had three cups of very, very strong espresso, and I don't know... Espresso! 
as a Lincoln Avenue Expresso cross down bus? Get out! Get out of my den! <laughs> Who's the idiot who took my pudding? Ah! I'll kill him! Hi there. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have a large non-fat cafe latte grande latte. Non-fat? Hmm. That surprises me. What does it? You look like a guy that would like lots and lots of cream. Well, that depends on who's doing the porn. Wow. That would be me. Well then, make mine a double. But I like mine... hot. Oh, I can make it hot. <laughs> Would you like something to eat with that too? Yeah. Something I can nibble on. Something hot and chewy. Order the footlong hot dog. I'd love to hear what that conversation is like. <laughs> hey, do you mind... Anyways, uh, you were about to tell me your name and address. Brittany Pierce. My name is, uh... Zach Duham from the Modeling Channel. How'd you know that? I used to be friends with Tisa. You, you knew, uh... <sighs> Tisa? Yes. In fact, I need to talk to you about her. Uh-uh. Ah. Uh -uh. uh -uh. That is one line. I do not cross. It concerns magenta. What about magenta? There's something you need to know. <laughs> ah. Here's to you, magenta. Once again, in life as in love, you wind up on top. So, it was you! What are you talking about? You killed Tisa! Zach, you, you're scaring me. Oh, I'll do a hell of a lot more than scare you, lady. I want the truth! I'll tell you the truth! I did not kill Tisa. Well, if, 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 if you d didn't kill... What's her name? Tisa. Tisa, thank you. Then who did? Brittany Pierce. Brittany Pierce? How could she? Wait a minute. She told me you did it, and I believe her. And now it is payback time, lady. <gasps> and now, scenes from next week's Models Amalgamated. <laughs> okay, Brittany, how do you explain these pills? Listen, Amber, just because you're my roommate does not give you the right to go through my things. Brittany, don't go there. You have a son? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> Name's Buck. And he's got the same little crooked smile he says. Don't you do that! No! Don't you dare do that! You little Republican! I had it! Ow! Ugh. Ow! Quit! Don't! Ow! Get out of here, Magenta! I manage this coffee shop! <laughs> what are you laughing at? You little fool! You may manage this coffee shop. But as of today, I own it. Oh, and um, you, my little bitch, are fired! What are you doing? Oh, wait a second! You're horrible, horrible! Oh, Chill out! Get away from me! This solves I'm nothing! It solves nothing! Bill, I think it's time you swallowed your pride and called Magenta Crane. I told you never to speak of her again. I can't even stand the sound of her name! Why don't you come on in the water's fine?
You loved him, Min Jackie, we hardly knew ye. You hated him in Gimme Jackie. Now the love-hate relationship continues with Jackie Rogers Jr.'s The Bodyguard. One more time. How many of these blasted death threats have I received? Last year you received about 10,000 pieces of fat man. 9,000 of those with death threats. I, I know I'm not that well liked in the South. That's a given. Jackie, I'm getting you a bodyguard. Got to know that you're feasting on the ducky bowl of long. Only one person could provide the protection he so desperately needed, starring Whoopi Goldberg as the bodyguard, the woman he was fated to love. You got to be kidding. This is who I'm guarding? Are you kidding me? Oh, man, this is a joke. That is weird. Yes, sir, Babaloo. Daddy likes. Yes. Let me tell you something, you're emaciated seagull. You take one move toward me. And I will whip your butt like cake batter! Just the way I like them. Hot ones. Sassy. I, I, I will always love you. I can't let you go to Vegas for that award ceremony. When my mistress, Lady Vegas, calls and informs me that I've been nominated for this year's Off the Strip Entertainer of the Year Award, and the winner is... I am there, Captain! Give it to me, guys. Give it to me. anemic the bodyguard one more time a new pay-per-view film by jackie rogers jr <laughs> what a question you rascals have totally caught me off guard let me just move my beads but i would have to say my favorite tv memory would be my father's last special Jackie Rogers Sr., Old Mother Nature, She Loves Me, in which he was mauled by a cougar live on air. Follow this story and find my anger and explain it, I will. A cougar is tranquilized. A large bowl of mocha-flavored coffee beans accidentally laid to rest near Dad's cougar's cage. The cougar gets a nibbling. He goes cuckoo birds, mauls Dad, orphan boy. And you know, to this day, I can't watch the special. Very difficult for me to watch the special. Why, you might ask? I'll tell you. Because it's on beta. <laughs> and I don't have a beta machine. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to go for her. But you see, that is what you call improvisation. Jackie! <laughs> You're taking way too much time with your TV memory. I'm sorry, Dad. Do I have time to mention that this weekend I'll be appearing at Jungle Larry's Pioneer Room? No! Oh, then I guess that's it then. Get out! Get out of my den! <laughs> Who's the idiot who took my pudding? Get! I'll kill him! Get out! Get out of my den! <laughs> Oh! <laughs>